guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be taking you through a build of a bench out of two by fours and hairpin legs. My gym actually commissioned me to make this piece for them, which is super cool, super honored. Thank you to the zoo here in Charleston for, uh, you know, commissioning me, because it's pretty cool and I'll get to see it every day. Um, but let's jump right into the video, you guys. It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up. So up cutting the ends of the two by fours, all four of them. They have flush clean, 90 degree cut. Now I have them where they're flush on one end and not flush on the other end. So I'm gonna mark that with my speed square, get those cuts done, and then I'm gonna cut all of the two by fours in half once I have that final measurement so we can start sandwiching them together for that bench top. When I feel like this, I'm immortal. When I feel like this, I'm immortal. I just found the center point for all my boards. I'm cutting them in half and currently the half point is 47 and 13 16 So I'm gonna take that down to the miter saw, cut all those pieces up, and then I will show you guys my plan for the table saw to take off that rounded um, side for all the pieces of two by four. I am now on the step of using the table saw. So I have my table saw out. It's right in front of me right here. I am gonna go grab each piece and I'm going to set it um, on the, the uh, fence here. I'm gonna set the fence uh, just enough to take that rounded curved detail off to where I will have more of a, a very squared brick versus you know that typical two by four look with the um, the rounded over edge. You can see it has rounded edges, right? You can see those uh, right about here, hopefully. I want them to look like this, not like this. So y'all will see what I'm doing. So I have my two by four. I'm gonna just hold the fence and the two by four and kind of squeeze it over and get an idea of how much I need to take off. So that's way too much. We're gonna scoot her back. I would say probably right about maybe, yeah, I would say a blade's worth. We'll do that. We'll do about a blade's worth. So we'll lock that in there and then we'll just get an idea. It's a little over a blade, so I'm gonna scoot it back over to the right, right about there. And I would say that's about one blade's worth taken off. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up, it's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working now. On to the next step in the process, which is securing this top to make it one unit. I have already chosen the two prettiest boards for the front and the back because that's the only size you will see. Everything else will be smushed like a sandwich. So from the front and the back, I'm gonna start in the front. I'm gonna use wood glue and screws and I am going to secure each piece following with screws and wood glue. So that front piece, I will put wood glue on the back of it and I will put that second piece up against it and then use, I think I'll probably have to use two inch screws to secure it in and then the next one and making sure I remember where I screwed the previous set. That way I'm not screwing the screws into one another. That is something you should keep in mind as well. And then once we get to that very back piece, we will simply just put a bunch of wood glue, clamp it all up, and then we will just let it sit overnight, come back, take a look at it, and possibly have to do either some sanding or get a hand planer to make sure that top is completely flat. And then we'll get into the fun stuff, which is actually staining it and then just throwing on the lights. I'm so gone. No, I'm never turning back. I won't stop on the fight until there's nothing left. It's so what you're gonna be hurting back. Cause I've been to hell and back. You don't wanna make me mad. I stay strong. You will never see me crack. And if you get in my way, you gonna feel the wrath. 
this is where you have to remember where you're drilling your screws. So the second I was drilling them in the middle, so I did two, I did one here and one around here. So with this third one, I made sure I did three away from where I put the other one, just in case, so we don't have any screw mishaps, but one here, one dead center, one there. So once I fill this with glue and I put the next one on, I'll know, okay, two. And don't go in the middle and don't go on the far end. So just remember that as the layers add up. Now, and if you recall, I cannot secure it into the next piece because I want the front face to be really, really nice and not have any holes or patches or anything like that. So, just a bunch of wood glue here and then clamps. I'll use all three and I will let that cure overnight and then we will clean her up, make sure all the ends are what they need to be and then hopefully plain the top and then put the legs on it. Cause it's everything. You can mold shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything. is just to put the legs on. So I am probably gonna measure an inch in on all the sides and then I will secure these with some inch and a quarter deck screws and we'll call it a day. I'm just gonna measure in an inch on every side and then that will be where I line up these bad boys too. Right, so we are gonna measure over and down an inch. So an inch. Inch there, over an inch. So this right here is where I am going to have this guy right up cornered too. Maybe even directly in the center of that. That might be good. Kind of like that look. We'll go and see what we like. Looking back, mirror breaks after math. When I hate, I attack. I am using my favorite tool, the router, and I have a round over bit on it. I'm just rounding over all the edges on this bad boy. That way there isn't anything super sharp to where you can cut your fingers on if you're even moving it. So rounding them all over and then we will start sanding down and getting it ready for the stain. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up, it's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape
All right, you guys, that is gonna wrap up the two x four bench build. A huge shout out to the zoo here in Charleston. They commissioned me for it, like I said in the beginning. I absolutely love how it looks in the space and I get to see it every day, which is even cooler. Um, but anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like, drop a comment below letting me know your thoughts or if you have questions and then make sure you subscribe to the channel so you aren't missing any videos with me. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'll wrap it up here. Catch you guys in my next one.